Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. Moton. And yeah, I'm sweating. I've been sitting outside here. It's like 34 degrees, sunny. And it's uh, early evening right now, so the mosquitoes are starting to come out. So if I slap myself, that's, that's what's going on. So today I thought I'd make a video about why it's necessary to change up the rep ranges and change up the weight that you use in your workouts. And I'm going to overlook the obvious reason. The, the obvious reason is that you want to hit different muscle fibers with heavy weight or lightweight, right? The heavier weights are more fast switch dominated and the lighter weights tend to hit more the strength endurance fibers or slower twitch fibers. Now I find by combining these two techniques or these two weights or weight intensities, I find that I get a great synergy that goes on. So while the fast switch fibers are recovering from the workouts, then I can still hit the slow twitch fibers and pump that blood flow in there, increase the recovery along with stimulate the slow twitch fibers in order to create muscle growth, right? Which is why I incorporate this sort of system in all my workout programs. But I'm going to also talk about something else. And this is important for you to know because when you're lifting heavy, it is human for you to start to work with a technique that accentuates your ability to work with that heavy weight. And sometimes it's necessary for your own safety, right? Like we talked about with the bench press, sometimes it's really necessary for you to tuck those elbows a little bit when you're bench pressing therefore you're distributing some of the weight off of the pec tendons this may also be true with squats this may also be true when it comes down to close grip bench and so forth there's there's these different adjustments that you make with heavy weight but here are some times that you might want to step back from heavy weight right and then this is a sure sign that it's a good time to step back from heavy weight and to restart again with lighter weights for a period of time and one of those signs is if you're getting constant joint pain if you're getting constant inflammation constant joint pain you're hobbling around the next few days not just from muscular soreness but actual joint soreness it's a good indication that you might need to take time off of going heavy at least on that body part so say you're having knee problems maybe squats you need to go lighter on for a while or uh, say you're having shoulder issues maybe you need to go lighter on bench for a while right but the other thing that i want to point out is that when you're doing an exercise with varying levels of intensities you're going to notice that different muscles come into play and sometimes they are not the muscles that you want to create growth in for instance if i'm doing barbell curls and i'm doing them heavy I notice that my shoulders get pulled down a bit, you know, this might be accentuated also by my torn labrum and my right shoulder, but they get pulled down a bit and I notice that my shoulders have to stabilize more so because of the increase in heavier weight. So therefore when I'm arm curling, I notice that my shoulders are taking a little bit more stress and because the shoulders are taking a lot of the stress, my bicep brachii is not necessarily getting the same type of recruitment as I get when I'm using lighter weights and the shoulders not coming into play because it changes how the shoulder's sitting which changes the dynamic of how the bicep is working. So sometimes you're gonna notice this contradiction where you're using lighter weights but you're getting a better pump and better results from the exercise. So I'm doing like just 65 pounds and I'm just, you know, on purpose, just bit, keeping the elbows bent at the bottom and then coming all the way up like this. I'm not noticing excessive shoulder interaction, even though I'm bringing the, the arms forward just to get that extra contraction on the bicep. Now that's something I would never do with heavy weights because the shoulder involvement would be too extreme. And at the same time, I would not necessarily be able to contract the biceps this way, but this is allowing me to get more of a full contraction. So what I'm saying is at least for periods of time, you may want to do different rep ranges because your movement might be slightly different and you might accidentally stumble across a better way of doing something for results in, in an area that you're not necessarily getting results in. Or maybe you're at a sticking point or a plateau and you just need to change that. And by changing the weight to lightweight for a period of time, you might get excessive gains and you're like, what the hell, you know? So the other thing I want to say is that just because something works now doesn't mean it works forever, but for now, maybe it's the right technique. On that note, 
I usually squat at about 90 degrees at the knee. Some people are like, oh, it's less than 90 degrees, you bastard, right? They're all mad at me or whatever. But right now I'm squatting at about parallel with just 225 because I'm trying to stretch out the hips, stretch out the adductors. And I'm noticing I'm not getting as much outer sweep growth on my quadricep. It's actually kind of shrinking down a bit, but I'm getting some medialis and I'm getting a good hip stretch and that's what I'm doing it for. But there can also be a great reason to do a different squat form from period of time. And that is to stretch out some areas which may have become super tight from the form that you're using before. Now, as long as you're not getting joint pain or any sort of inflammation, this may be a great way in order for you to uh, build up a weak link for a period of time and then go back into your old form that you find works best for you to get overall muscle growth, right? But sometimes doing movements that are stretching Movements which are taking the range of motion into a little bit different territory than usual may also help you rehabilitate an area and may help you springboard your normal range of motion or normal sets of intensity into a different stratosphere of gains. Yeah, sometimes doing rehabilitation workouts, and that happens using light weight, can also help your overall strength and health of the entire body because in the end, the one thing that I find people don't talk about enough, at least not the younger guys anyway, the older guys talk about it quite a bit, but, but the younger guys don't talk about it, is that your quality of life has to also improve from your training. It can't be just train, die, and then drag yourself around like a corpse the next three or four days. You know, like try to heal from the joint pain, the knee pain, the, the inflammation, whatever. You should notice that if you're training, that you're also increasing your quality of life outside the gym. It's not just in the gym. It's not just in the mirror, right? So ideally what would happen is that your body becomes more functional, freer of aches and pains, and at the same time, stronger with more strength endurance. That would be the ideal sort of scenario, right? You look like a Greek god, but at the same time, you're not always in, in pain. And if you are, this is a great time for you to start using a little bit of lighter weight just for a period of time to give yourself a break, perhaps stretch the muscles in a different way. Perhaps once you're doing lighter weight, you're actually gonna be able to play around with pause reps, different types of stretches, different types of ranges of motion and movements and techniques. And this can also help you rehabilitate these areas and possibly uh, you know, heal an area altogether. Uh, like I noticed when my left shoulder was kind of starting to hurt for a period of time, I just did some dumbbell pullovers, stretched out the subscap muscle, and then bang, all of a sudden, shoulder pain was gone. So you'll stumble across these little discoveries along the way, and training lighter for a period of time will allow you to start playing in that direction. So I 100% believe in lifting heavy, but only heavy is going to be a detriment to your overall bodybuilding gains and quality of life. You need to mix that up and you're going to end up more muscular and in better shape because of it. Mountain. So yeah, I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you like this sort of stuff, make sure you tune into the Patreon podcast. I have it in my Patreon channel. The link is in the description here. Only for five bucks a month, you can tune into me talking on the podcast about all this sort of stuff. And thanks a lot for watching. And if you need to get homie, you can go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com. Mountain. Now I get to get away from the mosquitoes and the flies because of all the trolls buried back there. But, uh, but we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about the trolls back there. You know, it's just not really necessary, you know, to go into the, get into those type of conversations. You know what I'm saying? Just keep that to myself. Natural land.